this video tutorial, we're going to be setting up the Vue CLI for building Vue.js applications. I'm currently running Mac OS X Catalina 10.15.6. Let's go ahead and open up Chrome, and I'm going to go to Vue.js.org. We're going to click on Learn. Under Documentation, we'll go to Guide, and then Installation. And if you haven't already, I did record a video on setting up Vue DevTools. I highly recommend it. If you're going to be working on Vue.js applications, absolutely make sure you have the DevTools installed. We're going to keep going under Direct Script Include. We're going to go past that. We're not going to use the CDN. And you can use NPM if you want to install Vue into an existing application. We're going to be creating a brand new application from scratch. So under CLI, Vue provides an official CLI for quickly scaffolding ambitious single page applications. It provides batteries included, build steps from a modern front end workflow. It takes only a few minutes to get up and running with hot reload, lint on save, and production ready builds. So let's go ahead and we're going to click on official Vue CLI. Here we are, it brings us over to the Vue.js Vue CLI repo on GitHub. We're going to scroll down and I'm going to go to the official documentation here. And let's go ahead and click on get started. As we can see, there's a warning. Uh, depending on when you're watching this video, you may or may not get the warning, but they did just release a whole bunch of new Vue stuff. So this documentation is for Vue slash CLI for the old Vue-CLI see here. So we're going to go with the new, um, which is fine. And then we'll come over here to installation. We're going to use NPM to install the Vue CLI. So go ahead and we're just going to copy this. And let's go ahead and open up terminal. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bigger for you. And we're going to do sudo and we're going to paste that command in there. Press enter. Type in your password and press enter again. All right, and as we can see, we successfully installed Vue CLI 4.5.6. If we come over here, it says after installation, you will have access to the Vue binary on your command line. You can verify that it is properly installed, simply running Vue, which should present you with a help message listing all available commands. So let's do that. And here we go, I'll expand this a little bit. All right, so we can see Vue successfully installed, and these are all the commands we can use. Let's do Vue dash dash version, and we can see that worked. If you're upgrading, it wants you to run this command, but we're not upgrading, we're installing fresh. And let's go ahead, just to make sure it works, let's create a new project. Um, so it says we can run Vue create, and then the app name. We'll call this app blog. All right, so once the pick of default, we're going to stick with view 2. You can use your up and down arrows to select something different, but we're going to roll with view 2 for this. Enter. All right, it's completed. It said we can CD into our new folder called blog, and then npm run serve will fire up a local development server with our new Vue.js application. So our application is running at localhost 8080. We'll copy that and come over here, and we'll go to localhost 8080, and here we go. Here's the default Vue.js installation using the view CLI. Let's go ahead and take a look at the default file and folder structure that the view CLI set up for us. I'm going to go ahead and minimize all of these. I'm using VS Code on my computer so I'm going to go ahead and launch VS Code.
All right, so here we are in our blog. By default, we have our node underscore modules folder. Um, then we have our public, we have source SRC, we have our git ignore, we have Babel config, package lock JSON, package JSON, and our readme file. So all of this was generated for us automatically using the view CLI. Inside of our public folder, we have two files. We have our favicon, which is the little icon at the, the tab on your browser, that little teeny tiny icon that shows up whenever you're viewing the web page. So that's our favicon. View gave us their logo by default. And then we have our index.html file, a little pre-populated code in here from the view CLI. Let's move on inside of our SRC folder. Now this is where most of the action is gonna happen. We have our assets, which contains our logo.png. This is where you would load additional CSS or images that you might use in your application. You can drop those right here in your assets folder. We have our components. By default, view gives us a single hello world component. That's what this looks like. Uh, we'll be diving into this more deeply in another video, but by default, view gives us one component, and this is what it looks like. In here we have our app.view file, which is our initial view template file. And main.js is, is the entry file to your view application. Um, you could set up any of your configurations in here. This is where you would import other libraries. Maybe you're using Vuetify, maybe you're using Vuex or View Router. You would import those things right here in your main.js file. We can see that we import view from view. We import app from app.view, which is right here. And then we're creating a new view instance. We're rendering the app.view file and we're mounting it to the index.html ID of app. Back up here into our public index. We're telling it right here, this is where we want to mount. So main.js, import app, mount it, and then in the index, put it right here. And this is this is what initiates your view application in the index.html page. So we can go ahead and close this. We'll minimize these guys. If you're using Git, which you should for version control or, or some source of version control, by default, they give you the git ignore file. In our git ignore, you can see it's already by default saying to ignore any ds underscore store files, ignore node modules, ignore the dist directory. We haven't actually created a production build yet, so we don't have a dist directory over here, but it's telling it by default, don't commit that. Um, it's telling it to ignore any environment files and all of our log files. You could go ahead and add anything you wanted to this, uh, but that's a whole nother video. Uh, we have our Babel config by default, we're not going to touch that. You have your package dash lock JSON and your package dot JSON. If you wanted to include additional dependencies, this is where you would do it. And then you have your readme.md file. Uh, if you were to push this repo into GitHub, this is what GitHub would show on the default repo for any installation instructions. You could go ahead and make changes to this. We're just going to leave it like this for default. So that's about it for setup and installation. We successfully installed the view CLI. We were able to view create blog in our terminal and we were able to NPM run serve, which launched our local development environment. At this point, you should be set up and ready to get rolling with Vue.js. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe and the bell icon. I'll be doing many more videos on Vue and Vue.js in the very near future. Thanks again.